What's going on guys, it's Sam and in this video I'm going to show you how to make your titles look amazing. You're going to be able to make text pop, bounce, and change color to add all sorts of styles to your videos. That's good. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and dive in. Um, right now we're looking at a... Uh, very uh, embarrassing clip of me just snapping because I want to show text to where my fingers are at because that's how I'm going to do this demo. Um, I'm going to have them doing all sorts of different movements, animations. I'm going to make them change color like whenever you want them to and animate through that. So um, <laughs> the goal is to see if we can make the text do something on every single snap. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so first there's two ways to make a title. There's the legacy way, and then there's the new essential titles way. So in the legacy way, it's, it's actually my preferred way to do it because that's what I'm used to. Um, but we're going to do it uh, the essential titles way because it's actually a little bit easier, especially for people just starting out in Premiere. Um, so um, real quick, to make a legacy title, you can just hold control and press T, and then it'll ask you what you want to name it. So we'll just make it title one and then hit OK. And then you've got like a title editor here with uh, a bunch of settings here that are kind of skewed for some reason. But, um, and then you got legacy title properties so you can change colors and all this kind of stuff. So instead of doing that, we are just going to take the type tool, click on that, and start adding our own essential title graphics. So let's go ahead and do the first one. And we'll do, Cool and text. <laughs> okay, all right, so let's go ahead and adjust these settings so that we can make the text actually look somewhat decent. Let's use Lotto, maybe do black, black italic, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll stick with that. And then let's go ahead and size it up. Bam. Cool. And then we can take the selection tool and drag it around on screen. So let's do another one because I got two fingers, so they gotta match up. Okay. And let's put text right there. Okay, sweet. And it it uh it kept the same formatting too. <clears throat> okay, so right now we can't really <laughs> read the word text because it's white and it's right on top of my lamp in the back. So um, what we want to do is add a drop shadow to it. So let's go ahead and scroll down and click on shadow. Bam, we got a drop shadow, just like that. Um, we can change the, the distance of it from the text, so we can make it do that. Um, I think I want it to fade, actually, so let's feather it out. Yeah, there we go. And, uh, that's... That's pretty good. It's more readable. I think I'll change the color to red. Bam. Okay, so I've got my cool text here. Now, let's uh, make it animate. So, first thing we're going to do is not have it show up until I snap my fingers. So let's go ahead and hold Alt and scroll with our mouse wheel to zoom in on the snap points I can see in the audio here. So let's go ahead and drag it as close as we can to when I snap. So there's one, and then we'll put the other one on the other snap point. So let's see what that looks like. <laughs> it's not even, <laughs> it's not even the right hands. Okay. Uh, yep, that works. Okay. Text. Cool. <laughs> okay. So right now they just kind of show up very plain. They just kind of appear on screen. Now we don't want that. We want them to uh, pop. So let's, let's give them a little um, animation. So First thing we're gonna do is um, select the motion portion of our clip. So under effect controls, we'll click on motion. And when we click on motion, we see um, the outline of the actual graphic. So it says text over there, but the graphics, graphic is actually 1920 by 1080, which is the sequence setting. So what I care about most here, if I wanna make the text pop and like kinda move, I wanna make sure it's moving from the right center point AKA anchor point. So we're gonna take the anchor point, which is this thing right in the center by my nose, and drag that to the center of text. And the reason why we do that is 
um, I want to make it pop. So I'm going to make it like scale up for a second and then scale back down. But I don't want, I want it to scale up from inside of itself, like from where it is. Because if I kept that anchor point in the center, then it would have scaled up from the anchor point. It would have looked weird. So let's go ahead and move that anchor point to the center of the text. Let's go to the very first frame. Let's click the toggle animation stopwatch to add a keyframe. Let's move over one frame, boost it by five scale points, so 105, so it goes up a little bit, and then move over one frame, two frame, and let's bring it back down to 100. So now, what does that look like? When we play it, bam, it's popping text. Bah, bah. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and take the motion, copy that, throw it onto cool, but cool has a different anchor point, so let's go ahead and click on motion, highlight it, and then wherever the anchor point is, okay, so let's drag it from where text is and let's put it where cool is. So now cool is going to do the same thing. Ready? And bah, bah. <laughs> All right, so, so far so good. We've made some popping text. And this is way more intriguing than just text just showing up on the screen. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to have some more fun with this. So we're going to, first it's... We're gonna make text turn off and cool turn off. So it's like blah, blah, off, off. <laughs> okay, next snap we're going to, oh, I think I'm doing it on the text side. So let's go ahead and make it mm, come from the ceiling. So I'm gonna turn off scale here and then I'm gonna click the keyframe on, or the animation stopwatch on position. <clears throat> and then I'm going to one, two, three, four, just move it over four frames because that's how fast I want it to move. And then put a keyframe where it's at again. So now I'm gonna go back to the beginning and then drag it all the way up. So now the animation looks like <laughs> You gotta have those sound effects too. It's very important if you're uh, animating text. Bloop, blah. Okay, so let's match up the snap here. And let's go ahead and copy that motion, paste it onto cool. So this one comes from the ceiling too. And we don't have to move the anchor point because it has nothing to do with scale. But um, we're going to scoot it up a little bit more because it's at a different height. So how's this look now? Blah, blah. <laughs> okay. Um, we can also ease that in as well, so let's go ahead and um, click on the keyframe, ease in, click on the other keyframe for cool, ease that in. So now when they land, it's like an easier transition. Can't really tell because it moves kind of fast, but it's a little bit softer of a landing. Okay, so now we're also going to animate it a different way. So let's go ahead and make a cut there, and maybe we'll like rotate it out. Let's see, let's see what happens there. Right now, I'm gonna change, take the anchor point, um, and move that all the way to like the top, because I want it to rotate around the anchor point. So let's see what that looks like. If we change the rotation, yeah, there we go. So I want it to like rotate up and out. So let's go ahead and have it at default in the middle. Go one, two, three, four. Rotate it out, and then let's ease that in as well. And then let's go ahead and do that for <laughs> cool. Um, okay, I can turn off the position keyframes. Go ahead and uh, click on motion, change that anchor point, put it at the top. Hit the keyframe for rotation, move it one, two, three, four frames, and then rotate it like that. And then ease that in. Okay, so how's this look like? Let's let's see what the whole thing looks like now. Text. Cool. Ba. Ba. Doom. Doom. <laughs> okay. Um, Alright, what's next? Let's uh let's go ahead and make them change color. So I'm gonna let's go ahead and copy these two. Make sure we have these selected. Paste them in. And then zoom in, get them on the snap points. 
and I want it to rotate back in. I don't want it to rotate away. So let's let's take this keyframe, move it over here, move that back. One, two, three, four. Match that up. I'll do the same thing with cool. So move that, move that. One, two, three, four. Blah. So now they rotate back in. Okay. Actually, I wanna let's let's ease them in. Okay. Now I want to make the color change. So let's go ahead and extend that to leave them on so that when they snap. Blah. And blah. Okay. So that's where I want the color to change because that's right where the snaps line up. So let's go ahead and scroll down, change the fill to blue. Because why not? So right now, right at the, right when I snap again, bam, it's blue. Okay, now we don't have to have it just go straight to blue. We can also make it fade in. And to do that, we can right click the edit point and apply a default transition. So right now it looks purple because it transitions from red to blue. There we go. But because I want it to be on the snap, let's go ahead and drag the transition in, make it like two frames so that it makes it look like it fade snaps into blue. Bloop. <laughs> okay, cool. So let's do the same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that transition, paste it on the edit, po edit point of cool. I'm gonna go ahead and change the color of cool. I think I'll also add a drop shadow, cause why not? Feather that out. And uh, let's change the color to green. Yeah. Okay. Whoop. Whoop. Color, color, yeah. Okay. So another cool little effect that you can do when you're making things pop, you can kind of make them bounce as well. So let's go ahead and um, bring these guys back in. So I'll copy and paste them in. Uh, make sure they're on the snaps. And right now I'm going to make them come from the sky. So there's that. And then delete this keyframe, just bring that down, and then same with this guy, Let's bring you up, delete this keyframe, one, two, three, four, bring this down. Okay, so what I want to do is when the, when the text comes down, I want it to, I don't want it to just stop where it's supposed to be, I want it to like be more organic, so it falls down and goes like, like just a little bounce effect. So let's go ahead and do that with text. So I'm gonna zoom in to the keyframes and first it comes down, right? So I think what I want it to do is overshoot first and then go back to where it needs to be. So I'm gonna leave this keyframe here. Um, or actually I'm gonna copy this keyframe because that's where I want it to be. And I'm gonna go one, two, just two over. So I'm gonna uh, go two over, paste that, and then scoot this keyframe down a little bit more. So now let's see how this looks, see if it bounces. Yeah, see it's got a little bounce effect. It makes it look a little bit more organic. All right, another thing that we can also do is we can go ahead and copy this footage, paste that in, um, and let's go ahead and shrink the, the text and make it come back out. So we can make it disappear and shrink into itself, shrink into itself and then we can make it expand back out. So let's go ahead um, and do that with text here. So let's, I'm gonna go ahead and delete these keyframes, bring it back down to where I want it. And so now I'm gonna keyframe with scale. Now with scale, you can uncheck uniform scale. And what that does is you can customize the scale height and width. So I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna turn off scale height, but I'm gonna turn on scale width cause I want it to like kinda pop out. Um, so let's go ahead and do scale width, start from zero. Oh, you notice that? That's not what I want. The text disappeared and it went towards the middle. That's because of the anchor point. So let's go ahead and take the anchor point, drag that right into the center where the EX is. Now let's scale that down. Down to zero. Okay, one, two, three, four. Bring it back up to 100. Now I actually want it to bounce, so let's go ahead and Copy that, one, two, paste, and then let's change this center one to like 105, there we go. 
and then maybe we can ease ease in ease out see how this looks well maybe give it more of an effect maybe not 105 maybe like 110 or no let's do 120 okay um, and then we can also do that on cool copy paste to make sure the anchor point on cool is set anchor point is not set so let's let's do it just like that oh okay let's scoot that over there we go all right so now it kind of whoop whoop oh i didn't snap again come on sam you gotta snap there we go bam what what all right guys so that's basically it um I hope that you learned a lot and you got a good laugh from this goofy video of me just, you know, what I'm just trying to demo moving text. Um, I hope you can use this in your videos uh, as, you know, my goal is to help at least one person make an amazing video just from my tutorials. Um, so uh, be sure to like and share it with anyone who needs to know how to add some titles to their videos using Premiere. And don't forget to subscribe and, uh, Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.